See what happens when you restore historic hangar? You generate, you attract history. Yeah. Thank you. All right, first of all, I have to take a picture of everybody that gathered for this, because this is quite amazing. So uh, allow me, I, I'm a double tap, I'm in a multi -task. Wave everybody, wave. Wave everybody, come on. All right, thank you. Um, so this is um, amazing and a little bittersweet for me. Um, my father passed away a couple of weeks ago, so it's very important for me to be standing up here in front of all of you to honor my family and in part my father. Um, my father came here in 2005 for the Corsairs over Connecticut event and he loved it and he was just blown away by everybody that came and and it was, it, was, it was really important for him to do. And one of the things that I said there, which I will repeat today, is that my family's name in the world of aviation, it was my grandfather started the company in 1917, and it is now owned by Triumph Aircraft Aerostructures, but it is still in production, and they are still a company. They are the Vought Aircraft Division. And it's amazing to me that this company is still around almost 100 years later. But the reason my family's name and my grandfather's name has the name and the status, I guess it does, in the world of aviation is because of the people in Connecticut. My grandfather died on July 25th, 1930. And the Beisel family actually gave my family, you know, a whole new meaning because of that design of that plane. And people come up to me and they say, oh my God, you're Chance Bot's granddaughter? I love the Corsair. And I go, it's great. We didn't design it, but that's great. Um, <laughs> he designed other Corsairs and the Corsair, I don't know if you guys know this. So the Corsairs was the name that my grandfather gave to planes. And the Corsairs was also the name of the racing skulls that his uncle used to make. And so it sort of passed on into the design of flight. But what I really wanted to say was that it, if it wasn't for the people here in Connecticut, you all are the reason that my family's name means what it does. And you have, the people here and their work and their dedication has given me such pride for my name and my family's contribution and for my father because this would mean so much to him. So thank you guys so much and thank you so much for coming out for this very important day. And I'm gathering stuff from my father's um, collection, which I will be to making a donation to the museum as well, and some things I can't part with, like my grandfather's pilot license, even though I was just, Ed McGinnis was like, no, maybe, no, but <laughs> I think I'm holding on to the pilot's license for now, but thank you all so much for being here. It's really wonderful. Inspiring. I have a pilot's license, I'll trade you. It's like 36 million or something like that. I got 156. Pretty good. Okay, no trade. By the way, Glenn Curtis's license was number one. In conclusion, <laughs> 